everyone this is lucky singh today i am going to explain the topic eddy current and under this uh, topic we are also going to describe some of the experiments that is the arbor experiment and the stanley's experiment these are the experiments performed by the famous scientists and this these are used to demonstrate the existence of eddy current first of all we have to know that what is the eddy current so i'll give you a proper proper definition of eddy current the circulating current set up in a metal piece moving through a uh, magnetic field is known as eddy current i repeat it uh, the circulating current set up in a metal piece moving through a uh, magnetic field is known as eddy current now as we also know that uh, when the flux changes in a closed circuit then the uh, current is induced in it so start and if instead of that closed circuit if we take the any metal plate or metal disc whatever it is if it is made to vibrate in the magnetic field or it is put in a variable magnetic field then also the current is induced in it then also the current is induced in induced in it this current that is induced in the metal is known as eddy current according to joule's law do you know what is joule's law let me tell you joule's law states that when the current passes through any metal then uh, after some time the metal gets heated so the i want to also tell you that what is the another name of eddy current the another name of eddy current is foucault's current now the thought comes to our mind that who was the foucault foucault was the first scientist who studied about these type of currents in 1895 very early from now now come to the topic that is the arbor experiment this experiment was conducted in 1824 This was conducted before the discovery of the Faraday's laws of EMI, that is the electromagnetic induction. Here we have set up. This is the proper setup made by the scientist. This is the uh, metallic disc P, and this is the magnetic needle. The, this is the north pole of the magnetic needle. This is the north pole of the magnetic needle, and this is the south pole of the magnetic magnetic needle. In this experiment, we what we observe. In this experiment, we observe that when this metallic disc moves. when this metallic disc rotates then this magnetic needle also rotates but with a lesser speed in the same direction as this metallic disc uh, moves so uh, now we want to know that what is the reason behind this so this whole experiment can be uh, explained by the lenz law we have already studied about lenz law lenz law states that that the direction of the induced emf that the direction of the induced emf is always such that it always opposes the very cause of its production now when uh, we have we can explain it like this when this metallic disc is rotated then the, it cuts the magnetic line of forces coming from this magnetic needle as the as it cuts the magnetic uh, magnetic line of forces then the it, uh, then when the flux changes when the flux changes as a result of this an eddy current is produced in this metallic disc and now according to lenz law the direction of this induced current is such that that a magnetic line of forces magnetic field coming from this magnetic needle always opposes the motion of this metallic disc and the result of as a result of this a couple acts on this metallic uh, this metallic disc so that it retards in motion and uh, after that Uh, according to newton's third law of motion uh, an equal and opposite force act on this magnetic needle also it is clear that the direction of the couple and this magnetic needle is same so this magnetic needle starts in a direction of start to rotate in same direction as the metallic disc rotates this was all about the arbor experiment now come to the second experiment that is the stenger's experiment Here, first of all, we have taken a metallic plate P. It is a conducting plate made of the materials like aluminium, copper, etc. The main point is this that this metallic plate should be conducting. As this, uh, this is the ma magnetic field B. When this metallic plate enters this magnetic field B, first of all, now I want to tell you the what is the direction of magnetic field. The magnetic field is directed inwards, and it is always acts perpendicular to the plane of paper. when this metallic plate enters this magnetic field then a retarding force opposes its motion that is it, it a retarding force tries to stop it tries to stop its motion now we want to tell i want to tell you that what is the reason behind this that this happens this is uh, this is all because of the reason that when this metallic uh, plate enters the magnetic field then the uh, eddy currents are produced in the, in this and according to lenz law this eddy current produces a retarding force 
which is very in, uh, very high in magnitude and it tries to stop it and stops its, its motion and in the uh, second case we can say that how can uh, in the next uh, figure we can uh, see that that the when we cut slots into this magnetic field sorry into this metallic disc then it can rotate for longer longer time and it can uh, rotate freely in that particular magnetic field for a longer time so what is the reason behind this that it rotates for longer time the reason behind this is that that the uh, eddy current and the corresponding retarding force are reduced greatly in amount so it can rotate for a longer time this was all about the argos experiment and the stenhouse experiment as we know that everything in science whatever we study in physics and uh, physics has some practical applications so likewise eddy currents also have some practical applications like in the manufacturing of the magnetic brakes gateway galvanometer induction motor uh, energy motor and the most important thing is a speedometer it is a device which is used to detect or used to measure the uh, speed of a vehicle which is based on its its application so i want to conclude my words by saying that whatever we have studied here are very simple like here we studied about eddy current about the argos experiment and about the stenhouse experiment so this was all about the eddy current thank you very much for watching this video i will be back with uh, more videos thank you i hope you have understood well thank you